Step one, listen to the conversation. Let's do something. Hmm? I'm bored, I'm bored. Let's do something. Okay. Like what? Uh, don't know. Why not read a book? Uh, okay, okay. We could, uh, we could do the jigsaw puzzle. <sighs> All right, uh, backgammon. Cards, Monopoly, something like that. Let's go out. Let's do something outside. Okay, nice one. All right, uh, fancy a walk? Ugh, boring. Okay, uh, wanna go bowling? We did that, like, on Tuesday. Well, you know, you could always do some work. Uh, I know, I know. Go-karting. What do you reckon? No, 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 no. It's too expensive, too far. And you always come last. Yeah, okay, and I always come last, true. Giraffe tennis? Step two, watch the lesson. <sighs> let's do something. Okay, we're starting with a classic suggestion. Let's, let's, you, you know this, this is when we make suggestions. This is what we've learned for the first time when we learn about making suggestions. Want to make a suggestion? Let's. It's the classic. Let's do something. Let's go to the cinema. Let's uh, ride some bikes somewhere. Let's uh, have some pizza. Let's uh, watch a film. I don't know. Let's. You know let's. It's let's. Hmm? I'm bored. I'm bored. Let's do something. Okay. Like what? Like what? I like this phrase. Like what? You know, it's very simple. We don't say what like. We say like what? Uh, don't know. Oh yeah, don't know. Okay, this is a classic. So we know about a lot of contractions, like wants to becomes wanna, going to becomes gonna, have to becomes have to. But this is less uh, less well known. Uh, don't know becomes don't know. So you know, where's Barry? Don't know. What type of fish is that? Don't know. What's the capital of Ethiopia? Don't know. Actually, I do know that it's uh, Addis Ababa. But if I didn't know that, I would say don't know. Why not read a book? Okay, another classic suggestion phrase. Uh, so we have, we've had let's. Uh, we've also got why not? Why not read a book? Why not try something new? Why not put some salt in the pasta? Why not change channel? This film is really boring. Um, yeah, why not? It's like let's. Uh, why not read? Why not do? Why not have? Mm. Okay, okay, we could, uh, we could do the jigsaw puzzle. Another suggestion. We could. Uh, yeah, again, uh, don't use let's all the time. Try different things. We've had let's, we've had why not. And uh, yeah, we've also got we could. Uh, we could do the jigsaw puzzle. Uh, we could ride the bikes into the countryside. Um, we could go to the adventure playground and use the amazing death slide. We could, we could, we could, we could. Another way to make suggestions. <sighs> all right, uh, backgammon. Cards, Monopoly, something like that. Okay, yeah, this is quite interesting. Backgammon, cards, Monopoly, something like that. Uh, something like that. So you're making lots of suggestions. You don't even need any grammar. Just say the words. Backgammon, cards, Monopoly, something like that. Or um, you're trying to watch, choose a, a film to watch. You can say uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, Dune, something like that. Meaning, you know, something in that style, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's another good way of making suggestions. Just throw out single words or single suggestions with question marks, you know, in the intonation. Dune, Star Wars, 
Star Trek, um, then throw in something like that at the end. Something like that. There we go. Let's go out. Let's do something outside. Okay, nice one. Nice one. I like that. I use that phrase a lot. Nice one. Uh, what does it mean? It just means, you know, well done. Congratulations. That's good. I like your thinking. I like the way you're doing that. You did something good. We can use it for um, lots of different situations. But generally speaking, you're giving encouragement to the other person. You're making them feel better. Nice one. Nice one. All right. Uh, fancy a walk? Okay. Yeah. Fancy. Okay. This is like the th the fourth way of making suggestions that we've seen today. Fancy a walk? Um, so yeah, we use this with nouns. Fancy a walk? Fancy some tea? Fancy a trip to the Robin Hood themed arcades? Um, yeah. Fancy with a noun. You can use it with a verb, but uh, make sure to add ing. So uh, fancy doing something tonight? Fancy going out later? Fancy watching a film? Fancy going for a cycle. Uh, so yeah, fancy. Another way of just making a suggestion, like let's. Ugh, boring. Okay, uh, wanna go bowling? Okay, we talked about dunno uh, as a contraction. Wanna is like want to, but you know, we don't have to make the question, do you want to go bowling? Just say, wanna go bowling? Wanna eat some sushi? Wanna sit outside for a while? Wanna have a picnic? Want to meet up with Barry? You know, just, uh, yeah, want, wanna instead of do you want to. We did that, like, on Tuesday. Well, you know, you could always do some work. Okay, so you could always, you could always is <laughs> quite a fun phrase. Um, use it when you're basically telling someone that they could do something that they may not want to do. You could always do some work. You could always give me a hand, meaning, you know, you could always help me. Uh, I know, I know. Go-karting. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I, I like this one. This is quite British English. It just means, what do you think? What do you think of this idea? What is your opinion on this idea? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you think? What do you reckon? It's the same. Uh, again, it's British English, so uh, our American cousins might look a little confused if you ask them this. But yeah, what do you reckon? What do you think? No, 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 no. It's too expensive, too far. And you always come last. Yeah, okay, and I always come last, true. Giraffe tennis? Okay, giraffe tennis. Obviously, this is a joke. This is me being weird on the internet. I did, I use this phrase a lot, giraffe tennis. It's a running joke in, in videos, blog posts, uh, even podcast episodes. I got an email from one person who was uh, listening to a podcast episode, I think, or maybe it was from um, on the YouTube video. And she, she really asked me seriously what giraffe tennis was. Um, and yeah, no, just, just in case you're wondering if it's some weird English thing, it's not. Giraffe tennis is just some absolute weird nonsense that I've just made up as a kind of weird joke to amuse myself. Giraffe tennis isn't a real thing. You can't play tennis with giraffes. Giraffes can't play tennis. What on earth would it be anyway? No, giraffe tennis doesn't exist. Just so we all know, it's just me being weird. Um, and I'm going to continue being weird because I like being weird. Like and subscribe.